Got a foul. Nope, they didn't get there in time. Well, Wittenberg's going to have to stay out a little bit further in order to get there. You don't want to foul Gettys. Let's see if he gets it now. There it is. Yep. And they you see how smart he was, Gary. He went for the ball instead of just going out there for the grab and picking up the two shot. Now, Franklin's a 63% free throw shooter. But he's a freshman, and I'm sure Balbano's taking that in a accord as he will send him to the line with 105. Wittenberg with his third foul. Four points for Franklin. His first time line tonight. Nice piece of coaching by Jim Balbano. Really instructed his players, and they responded. Boy, you saw the tension Guy Lewis had. He's got to block out on these foul shots. And they did. McQueen almost took it away and lost it. Bailey and McQueen were fighting over it. All right, Jim Balbano has two timeouts left. He's got to be very, very careful not to use one too early. We come down now, as you see, to 48 seconds. 52 all. This is the national championship. Timeout. North Carolina State has one remaining. Well, this has been something. One than the other surging. They're all even. 44 seconds to decide the issue. North Carolina State. They led by eight at halftime, and then they found themselves in a catch-up posture. They've tied it up. All 19 points, Billy, that they have scored this half have done from the guards. Well, let's think of what you're going to do right now. They've got one more timeout left. They might take it down till they get it to 18 or 16 seconds. You're going to have a man-to-man -man pressure by Houston. It looks like Akeem on Bailey. Who is Drexler guard? Drexler's staying inside. Looks like he might be on Charles. Oh, dangerous pass. Uh, it's the half-court trap that Houston's using. Now, Jim Balvano might not have anticipated this, so he'd probably call that timeout if, if a player gets in trouble. He has his three guards in there now as Gannon's in there with Wittenberg and Lowe. Down to 25 seconds. Dangerous pass. This is a really interesting strategy by Houston. They're aggressive now. Not staying back. Well, remember they have a team in there for, to block anything that goes inside. Down to 14 seconds. Oh, almost stolen by Drexler. They, Boy, is he good at they've that. They've got to drive to the basket. It's down to seven seconds. You can see the time. Wittenberg. Oh, it's a long way. Cardiac 
kids have done it. They have won the national championship. They came in here an eight-point underdog. They were outscored 15-2 to two to start the second half. And yet Jim Valvano and this team would not quit. And in the final analysis, it was the coaching and the strategy that turned this game around when they sent Houston to the free throw line and the Cougars could not nail down the free throw. Jim Valdano, it was drama that no one will ever forget. Your emotions. Brent, our kids have never, you know, I know it's a cliche, but we've never quit in a game down the stretch all year long. And I knew we wouldn't today. We just couldn't get and any offense generated said so ball would not go in but we felt that we talk all year about being in a position to win if you're in a position to win you have a shot at win and that's all we want under four minutes we felt we put ourselves in a position to win by putting them on the power Gemma, i want to show that last dramatic winning basket were you surprised at the half court pressure they put on you well we, we anticipated more of a man-to-man -man pressure in his own situation, we wanted, you know, Sidney to make a move to the basket. Or Derek, Derek just didn't know how much time was left there, and he took a prayer. Lorenzo Charles, who I had told him, had not played up to his level. He came in, he made the biggest shot of his life, no question about it. And there is the happiest man in America about to celebrate what, in my opinion, will go down as one of the greatest coaching jobs in the history of this tournament. Jim, you had to tell him. Go follow him. You had to send him to the line. Oh, yeah. That was your order. Oh, no question. We, we play to win the game. Uh, uh, we don't want anybody to beat us by us sitting back. We're going to play. You have to do good things to beat us. We believe in putting people on the line. We're going to put them on the line eight, nine, nine times in a row. Congratulations, Jim. Thank we want to get go out. Cut some, net some down. of your players cut that net down. North Carolina State, the NCAA champions, the three seniors from Washington, D.C., Wittenberg, Lowe, and Bailey. Derek, Billy was kidding you. That was a nice pass at the end of the game. It was a great pass. That play was designed for Lorenzo Charles. I told him to be ready for it. I, I was surprised you even reached it on that shot. Well, uh, I usually practice that shot, but uh, I came a little short this time, but that's the way we designed the play. Thorough. Great job by your coach tonight when you were in a situation. He knew you had to make a comeback, and he told you guys to throw some balls on Houston. That's true, Billy. Uh, before I answer that, I'd just like just to thank God for giving us the opportunity to be here and play as well as we did, because without him on our side, when everything was against us, we'd never be here. And uh, about what you said, uh, Coach, you know, I had no fouls, and I had some fouls to give up. So, you know, we've been doing it all year. We've been fouling people, and they've been missing, missing the shots at the crucial time. So, you know, we just did that today, and it just worked for us. No longer the cardiac kids. I really didn't believe after watching uh, Louisville play against Houston in the semifinals that there was any way NC State could play against uh, against Houston. As a matter of fact, I think my call at the end that they won it on a dunk, uh, that was the first time I ever believed that, uh, that NC State was going to win the game. They've got to drive to the basket. It's down to seven seconds. You can see the time. Wittenberg, oh, it's a long 